So, the film starts with a strange scene. There was a security guard who was very scared. He was running here and there. While running, he reaches a room. There were some lockers, and when they see him they start opening. There were mirrors in those lockers. That man gets scared while seeing them. He says to them to forgive me. Meanwhile, a mirror among those mirrors breaks. A piece of it falls down. Now the security guard we are shown in the mirror picks up that piece and cuts his neck with it. And in reality, the security guard does the same. And he dies. Now here the scene changes and we are shown another story. There we see a boy Ben and the police were following him, while thinking that he has killed a police officer. That's why he was living in his sister's house secretly, but how much time he could spend here without a job. So he starts searching for a job for himself. He finds a store, there was still a vacancy. He goes and meets with its owner. That store was in a building and that was a strange building. It was burned a few years ago. Many people were dead in it. This building was huge and deserted. Now they talked about the job of Ben that what he had to do. The owner of the store asks Ben that you have to keep clean the mirrors of this building. I get irritated by the dirty mirrors. Then Ben says yes, why not? He moves his home from there. There was his wife and his son. But his wife says to him that why you come here? Hide in the place where you are living. Ben says to her that I am here to meet my son. Then there is a fight between them. And he leaves from there. Here we also feel that Ben was a very aggressive person. For this purpose, he was also taking medicines. The store in which Ben get the job it was at night time. There was no light at that place. Ben was walking here and there with his torch. He sees a huge mirror. There were handprints on it. Ben starts cleaning them. But they were not removing. He was feeling in the mirror that his back door is opening. But when he sees it in reality it was closed. But he ignores this thing. The next night, when he again comes to his duty, he sees those marks again on that mirror. He thinks that maybe these were my handprints. As he touches the mirror, it breaks. The weird things start happening there. It seems like some people were burning inside the mirror. Ben also sets on that fire. But when he stares at himself, he was alright. He thinks that maybe these are the effects of the medicines. He finds a wallet from there. And it was the wallet of that human who was died here. This means the previous guard of this store. He couldn't understand that what is this happening. Because still, he was seeing the strange things in the mirror. As the hand of a woman, he lifts the mirror and takes it with him. He starts seeing the other places in that store. There he sees a burnt lady. That was horrible. On the other side, the son of Ben was also seeing these things in the mirror. But his mother says my son don't be a worry, go to sleep. One day Ben receives a parcel in the name of that security officer at home. There were many newspapers in it. There was the news in those newspapers at how that building was burned. And many people died in it. He asks that owner that where is that security officer. He tells him that he is dead. Ben becomes worried that who sent him that parcel. Ben's wife was a doctor in a hospital. There was that security guard's dead body in that hospital. And that was frozen. Ben takes his dead body through his wife. But then the reflection of that security guard scared him badly. Now on the other side, we see Ben's sister at home. She was taking off her earrings while sitting in front of the mirror. But when she goes to take shower her reflection stays in the mirror. That reflection was opening her mouth completely. And it starts bleeding. On the other side, the mouth of Ben's sister opens itself, and she dies in the water. After returning home, when Ben sees it he becomes heartbroken, and he understands that these mirrors are mysterious. He starts shooting those mirrors after going into that building. But the shocking thing is that those mirrors make themselves fine again. Ben starts weeping, and he says that why are you doing this to me? Then a name was written in the mirror. The same name he finds in the wallet of that security guard. This means these mirrors and the death of the security guards are connected with this name. But when he investigates he didn't find any man with this name. He starts reading the newspapers. It was written in the newspapers that a man willingly set that building on fire. He himself also burned badly in it. He is still alive and he is in a hospital. Ben goes to meet him. Ben goes to meet him and asks him that why he set that building on fire. He says that I didn't have any bad intentions behind it. I was irritated by those mirrors. And the name of the man they were writing to again and again I couldn't find him anywhere. 
Due to this, I was losing my family also. To destroy those mirrors, I set that building on fire, but it didn't affect those mirrors. I also burned in that fire. Now Ben understands that if he couldn't find that man, his family will also be killed. His life is also at risk. Ben says that I will come to know this thing. He goes to that building and starts seeing here and there. He comes to know that it was a mental asylum. Here the patients were tortured badly. He comes to know this when he breaks a wall from where the water was coming. He arrives at a place where was a chair and it was surrounded by mirrors. It was the torture room of that hospital. Here the patients were tortured badly. Now Ben calls his friend. He was a detective. He tells him about the name of this hospital and about this torture room. He tells him that yes, there was a case on it. I will give you a file. Then they meet and start talking to each other. That detective tells Ben that there was a patient in this mental asylum named Anna. They torture her a lot. There was a problem in her mind that she feels everything quickly. Her feelings hurt quickly. That's why they torture her willingly. One day all patients start attacking Anna. Due to which Anna died. And other patients have also died. This hospital was banned. This hospital was sealed for always. After it, there was a store constructed on it. But that store was also not fine. It was burnt and now the building is in front of you. Deserted and nobody visit here. But the parcel which Ben received. He comes to know that Anna has discharged two days before that incident. This means the patients have not died with Anna. Ben was going insane while thinking this. He researches more about it and says that I will know that what had happened. On the other side, Ben's son was talking to himself while sitting in front of the mirror. When his mother sees it she says that son why are you doing this? Come here to me. And when he goes to his mother his mother sees that his reflection is still in the mirror. Seeing it, she gets scared and calls her husband means Ben. Ben says that I am coming. Don't go in front of any mirror. After coming there he covers all the mirrors and windows. He paints them. Now Ben takes the address of Anna's house somehow. He comes to know from her family members that she was actually mad. She was also very aggressive. This means she comes in anger hurriedly. She was sent to the hospital. She was tortured. But she becomes alright. And after some time she returned home. But when she returned all the mirrors of the house start doing weird activities. Means the strange people seen in them. Anna's condition again gets worse. Then she was sent to a place where there was no mirror. Ben says that I will go to meet her. She is alive or not. Now Ben goes to that place and he sees that Anna was grown old now. Ben starts talking to her. There was a wooden net between them. Ben asks Anna will you come with me to that mental asylum again. Anna says no. When I was tortured there was a demon inside me. That demon was changed into several demons. And if I will go there again the demons, which are imprisoned in those mirrors will again come inside me. Ben gives her his family sake. That my family is dying because of it. You have to come. Anna goes from there while giving no answer to him. Then Ben points a gun at her. He says that, no you have to come. On the other side, we see that at night Ben's son was disappeared from his mother. When his mother goes to search for him she sees that there is water everywhere. And when she goes to the washroom a reflection pulls her into the bathtub and tries to kill her. Now upstairs in the room when Ben's daughter sees in the mirror she sees her mother's reflection. That wasn't there in reality. That reflection was about to kill her. Meanwhile, Ben's wife escaped her life from there and comes upstairs. She saves her daughter from her reflection. Then she again goes to search for her son. She sees water at a place. She sees her son in its reflection. When she goes near him, he injures her with a knife. On the other side, Ben has taken Anna with him. He brings her to that torture room where was she tortured. He ties old Anna with that chair. After it, all the demons from the mirrors come out. Ben himself comes out of that room. The demons return to Anna's body again. Due to which Anna's body was blasted. All the mirrors break automatically. And finally, there was no mirror left in the building. Now Anna was possessed completely. Her face was looking horrible. She starts jumping high. And she tries to attack Ben. But Ben was also continuously shooting her. Then Ben gets an idea. He hits Anna with a pipe. 
That was a gas pipe and the gas started leaking. Getting a chance from it, Ben shoots at that site. Due to it, that place gets into the fire, and Anna burns in it. But Anna's anger wasn't finished yet. She starts making that building fall down. So that Ben can die falling under this building. But Ben does the same with Anna. Now the building starts breaking and falls on Anna. Anna remains under it. Unluckily, some part of the building also falls on Ben. But later, he was rescued. On the other side of the house, Ben's son was pulled by his own reflection. But his mother released him and start making her son fine. But when Ben sees while coming outside the building, he was seeing everything was written backward. He comes to know that he is now in the mirror world. Surely he was also dead. And he could never come outside the mirror. Because all the mirrors of that place were broken. With this scene, this movie ends here. Thank you for watching.